Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really happy you're here today to hang out with me and do a little crafting, a little show and tell, a little chit and a little chat, and have some fun. So, welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome to my brand new um, subscribers. I am so thrilled. We have a bunch of new people. You know, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do so. So you'll know when I have a video, you won't miss anything and we can have some fun together. And a big hugs and kisses and hello to all of you who follow me on a regular basis. Hi, you guys. I'm so happy you're here again. I'm so pleased you haven't given up on me. <laughs> So, lots and lots to chat about today, all kinds of fun things, and I'm going to start out by sharing some projects I've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen them. If after today you haven't, you might try finding me on Instagram. I'm under the, vi the Vintage Paper Girl uh, over there, and you, that way you can see um, the pictures in detail, you know, so you don't miss anything. So I um, decided to, let me just move these aside for a minute. We'll get to those in a second. Now, on our last video, I made this um, letter um, envelope, I mean envelope journal. And I was talking about the back and the front. And it was explained that Kate said that she did it um, because she didn't want to cover up this beautiful um, envelope, her beautiful envelope, so she decorated the back, which I agree. I didn't want to cover mine up either, even though mine is a copy. I still really loved it, so I could see exactly why that happened. Um, so, and I love it. I I think this is going to be for me. At some point, I may decide um, after I've journaled in it and whatever, maybe to cut it up. And someone suggested putting it on rings. That way, I could I wouldn't lose. The problem with cutting it up is, you guys, I already have this much done. So if I cut it and try to make it another journal, I would have to create a spine and do a whole bunch of work. So I don't want to do that because, you know, this is all done and it's got all these little pretties in it. Um, little tags that I made, you know, to go in here. Um, and the belly band is all decorated beautifully. And I don't want to lose all that. So the only way I could see doing cutting it apart would be as if I put it on rings. And who knows, maybe someday I will. I've decided to keep it for myself. It's a nice little notebook. It's got all kinds of pretty little goodies in it. I put a paper bag and, you know, um, so what I might do is periodically work in it, meaning I'll decorate it, we'll create some things for it. I've got a few, a little tag here, a journaling tag. Is there one? I thought there were two. Hmm. Guess I wanna put one in there. Anyway. So this was all done and um, I'm, you know, ready to use it as a journal or decorate in it or play in it. So we'll see. I think I may use it for future projects when I want to make some ephemera. I'll make it for this. And I used a, oh gosh, my arm stuck to the, uh, <laughs> my lotion stuck to the mat. Um, so this is just a little stretchy lace, which I think is perfect. Goes really nicely with this. I do love this. Oh, it's so pretty. So anyway, that was that piece we did on Wednesday. So I'm gonna set that aside. Um, also, I made this lovely hidden tag, hidden pocket tag. Uh, this is from Rose Hill Paper. Uh, she was the one who gave us the idea for this. She was the inspiration Heather over there. Hi, Heather. And um, this is my layered tag that I put in to my Junk Journal July journal. And this is the tag, and it has a hidden pocket on the side over here. And in that hidden pocket, I made some pretty goodies to go in it. And um, we've got that tag. We have this pretty little envelope that I made. These were seed packet envelopes from chapter one, I believe. So, and then we have a little um, tab here. And we have... A pretty little picture and so those are what is in my little um, hidden pocket my hidden little tag pocket and then you just open this up and you go like this and you have this space to write in isn't that fabulous you can write here here and here this is a wonderful journaling tag I love making this and I know I'm gonna make a bunch more. If you're interested, let me know if you want me to do one. Otherwise, you could go over to see it, Heather at Rose Hill Paper and she'll a paper cottage and she'll, you know, she has a video on how to make these too. So I know I'm gonna make more. Just let me know if you want me to do them with you guys or or if you're interested or what you want to do. 
So we have that. And then I need a triple set of a triple tags. Aren't these lovely? Um, these are lace tags, I'm going to call them. And lady lace, ladies in lace. And aren't they pretty? I started working with this paper and I got hooked on it. And so I decided to start using the new little frames. I went and got myself this um, Tim Holtz framelit. It's 3D and it's not the embossing folder. It is the frames. I can't find the embossing folder anywhere. If anybody knows where to get one, let me know. I could not find it on Amazon. I didn't find it in Etsy. I have no idea where to get the, the folder itself, but this is a separate die cut. And it's got, and then I use some pretty appliques and I use some vintage book page and I use some embossed papers. So um, these are the little frames that I used. Uh, I, I cut out a whole bunch more the other day. I was having a little play, <laughs> as you can see. Look at all the pretty colors. Aren't they just yummy? I even did some on some baking paper that I put in the oven. Um, and those came out really cool, but they're very delicate. I have to be careful with those. Those are, whew. and then I use some packing paper and they came out wonderful in that. Um, this is packing paper as well. This pink one. Um, and then regular, some cardstock from digital kits. Um, so, and then some, I have gold embossed. I did some gold embossing on those and I'm not sure what I think about the gold embossed. Mm, not excited. I can honestly say they're all right. I mean, they're okay. Kind of depends on what I'm doing, I think. If I'm doing something very vintage-y looking, I think they would be yummy. So this is something else I've been playing with and I'm in love with these. And this is what they look like when you use them on a tag or a card or a page or whatever. And I do think that they bring a lot of elegance to your to your project. Let me, I'm gonna stand up and see what you see. Oh gosh, I need to get down here. Sorry, I was getting those too close in your face. This one has pearls, isn't that lovely? So... And this one has a lace tab, and then it has the crinkly uh, from My Scrap Cabin, the um, seam binding. Now, if you go over to My Scrap Cabin, please let Erin know that I sent you so she knows that um, I'm so happy with her and that I'm sending my um, all of my friends over to see her. So let her know. I don't have a code for you yet, but maybe if she hears that enough of you are coming over from me, we'll get a special code or something we can use. Who knows? So then I made this big tag and this is a, um, what do you want to call this? Tuck tag. It's a big tag. Look at the back. I've got some yummy just wrapping paper on the back of that. Um, and I put it on and then these don't, that, that one doesn't, that one has parchment on the back, but this one is just a plain um, kind of crafty crafting cardstock. So they're they're pretty good. They're hefty, but this one is a little tuck that you can stick things into. And I use the wallpaper digitals. I use some vintage lace, and I use some antique uh, French book page. And then you know I have like a little matching card that goes with it. It's got some lace and pearls, and this has got all kinds of antique lace and a little. Um, applique and then we've got some of the crinkly uh, seam binding for my scrap cabin so and on that one too so I thought today uh, I would do a couple of things I want to do one of these if I have time um, these are simple enough you know to figure out they're just the the wallpaper now these this particular wallpaper came from um, graphics fairy from her premium kit site. So that's where I got the wallpaper from and I just am in love with it. Um, so that's where that came from. So I thought I would do a couple quick things now. Um, just so you guys know, there is gonna be noise probably during my video because we are, uh, we've packed up the house, we got our pod, we've gotten all of our flooring and baseboard delivered and we've already demoed the um, baseboard out so the guys are now going to start laying out the flooring to see where it's going to go and they're going to start installing so you may hear noise you're going to hear voices i tried to wait to do this video till um the very last second so that you know um it wouldn't be too noisy but i can't guarantee we won't hear voices or whatever so alrighty. so one thing i'm going to do is again heather over at um i just i just said her name a minute ago rose hill paper cottage sorry <laughs> I'm tired, guys, um, from packing. Uh, Rose Hill Paper Cottage, she did... Now, when I made my um, Junk Journal July journal, uh, which I showed you guys in a video, this one, 
I, and look at all the pretty lace on the edges. Aren't that pretty? Uh, I made a writing board. I automatically make a board for any and all uh, journals that I use um, personally. Sometimes I make and sell it with a journal. If the journal is very bulky, I will make one and put it with it to be sold because I feel like you need something firm to write on, you know, because when you're, when you're doing your pages, you know, you get going and if, if it's bulky, you want something hard underneath to write on. So you're not, whatever's back here is not interfering with the page that you're writing on. So I always make one and I made one and it was very plain and I was very happy with it, but I wasn't because I don't like things plain. And so uh, when I was watching Heather, she, for hers, she did a writing board and I never dawned on me, leave one side plain and smooth and decorate the other side. So you have something beautiful to look at, but you put down the side, you know, that's hard um, to write on. So you could still have one side really pretty. So I thought I'm gonna go back and revamp my writing board and I wanna make a couple. So, um, to, to have for future, make them more like generic. So I have them for future projects. So I, um, one of the things she did, she put a belly band on hers, but I think for me, I want to put on mine, I want to put like a pocket so I could put something in it if I needed to on the, in the writing board, maybe a note or something like that. But I also want to decorate. So I thought maybe I would make a lace pocket. Then I would do, you know, a little decorating around it. Now this is really wide, but oh gosh, I just love that with that. My other option that as I went through my laces was this one. I really like this one. It doesn't take up as much space and I could do more decorating. So I'm kind of, I've been going back and forth trying to figure out, you know, what should go where. So... That one lets me decorate more. This is a bigger pocket. Oh gosh, you guys, it's hard to tell because I mean, I just love this. Isn't this beautiful? I'm almost thinking I want to save it for a journal maybe because I only have one piece of this. So it's like, I don't have miles of it. This is it. I think I have one little tiny strip after this, but it's like, do I really need a pocket that deep? Or do I just want a little pocket? Like a little, well, you know, that's not a bad little, that's about the average size of a pocket, isn't it, guys? I think. Huh. Can't decide if I like the white. Now, the original journal, oh, I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to have time with these floors. I still have so much packing to do with the upstairs. Um, so, I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to write, I'm going to do the, use this to, um, journal what's going on with our floorings and our our adventure here with the remodeling of the house and you know bringing it up to date and everything so I think I'm not going to be able to decorate and do all the things that everybody's doing for junk journal July I just can't do the daily challenges even weekly I just can't just can't it's just not going to happen so um I mean if I just get a, a wild hair and decide to do a page fine but I I've decided I'm not even going to try the stress is just too much right now so um, I'm just going to, you know, write what's happening and I'm going to put some pictures and stuff like that. So, you know, but I do want this board to look nice with it. So I think the white is the best. I think that's too creamy. You know, it doesn't really go with what I've already started. So I think I'll put that aside and maybe use that on a different board. And we'll use the white one because I think it goes better with what I want to do here to decorate. Now, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and decorate it first and then pop the, um, uh, all I did was get a really heavy duty piece of cardboard. I only needed one. And then I used, um, my, um, presentation paper, which I believe is 32 pound. There's one on each side. So that made it very, very hard. I mean, it's, it's nice. So, um, and then I just covered it with the papers from chapter one. So I think, yeah. I want to just maybe glue that on. So I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start that right about there. And then I have a bunch of other goodies from this kit and I wanted to kind of um, make it very, very feminine. Add a few little bits, you know. 
I mean, there's a lot of pretty pieces to this kit. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous. So let me see. I do kind of want to keep it neutral. So maybe, maybe those three. And um, a word or two. So how are all of you? I hope you're all well. Um, I know quite a few of you are off at Gales doing the retreat there. Hope you guys are having a great time. If you're watching this in the evening when you're in bed waiting to go to sleep after a long day of crafting with our buddy, with my sissy. Okay. Yeah, and I couldn't go. Uh, I haven't had, uh, I have I had a horrible reaction to my um, COVID shot, so I wasn't able to go to the retreat because I had to have both shots and the um, boosters, and I wasn't able to do those. So, because I couldn't do those, I didn't get to go. But that's okay. You know, I'm home. I'm working on floors, and we have a lot going on here. I haven't talked to you guys at all about Stephen, my son-in-law. For those of you who are new, he has uh, stage four cancer. Been fighting it for three years, doing very well, but has suddenly taken a turn and isn't doing as well as he was and um he has had to go back into can and to surgery today you guys those of you already know he had had one surgery on his spine removed a massive tumor well it grew right back started um impinging on his spine again and uh he couldn't hardly walk or move at all and so they're having to do an emergency surgery today which is what is today thursday the seventh you guys will see this friday the eighth so, um, I am praying for him. Surgery starts pretty soon. Hasn't started yet at this point that I'm doing this, but I know it's due to start in just a little bit. And, um, he is in my thoughts and prayers today. So that he does well, um, so that they can get him on to his next set of treatments. Uh, so He's just not doing well. It's been really rough. He's taken a number of really bad falls. And um, what it did is when he fell, he fractured his spine. And so he's got a bunch of fractures on his spine right now because of the kind of cancer that he has. So it's a, it's a rough road, rough, rough road for everybody right now. So we're hanging in there, but I got to tell you, it's not easy at the moment. So we have this i'm trying to figure out i wanted the the green and the pink but i don't want to cover the blue i want to keep that in there um i want to get this word in but it's awfully white i don't really like i don't like the black box around it i think is what's bothering me let me get rid of that little black box there so i thought i would do this because i want to get this done so i thought we'd do a little crafting today not very much but just a bit just a little bit of crafting And I want one more something or other. So what else do I want? I did have a little number here a minute ago. I don't know where it went. Where'd that go? There was a little, hello? Did I throw it away by mistake? No, did I throw it in here? I probably threw it in here. I like this, Le... it's Le Ball Paris, it says on here. So I thought maybe I'd try to cut that out. It's teeny tiny. I'm gonna cut my fingers doing it. I think I need a smaller scissor. So I know a lot of you are visiting family right now. You're on vacation. You have weddings and all kinds of fun things going on. Congratulations, you guys. I hope things are going well in all of those things. Having fun with your families and doing fun things. Hello, hello to all my friends. To Diana. Hi, Diana. Hope you're having a great time with your family. Okay, so I think we're... So we'll put that on, and then we put this on. Oh, I got that going the wrong way. No. 
I'm going to go it that way, I think. Or do I want to go that way? Either way is okay, right? Hmm. <laughs> I could sit here and play with this all day. I could, I could. Hmm. I don't know, but I think I've got everything in the right place. Let me get it inked and glued on. And we'll go from there, right? I want to get rid of the white edges that I've got going everywhere. Most of these I don't want to round because they have a frame. If they didn't have a frame, I would round the corners like I usually do. I'm going to get this tiny, teeny, tiny. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come on. There you go. All right. So I'm so glad that all of my new subscribers have found me one way or another. A lot of you are starting to find me on Instagram. Oh, hi, you guys. Isn't that great? We find each other on Instagram. We follow each other and watch each other's videos. It's so much fun. So much fun. I'm really having a good time with Instagram right now. Really, really enjoying it. It's a whole other avenue for me to look at, you know. Now, if I put that on there... And I put this on here. I need to see where it's going to fall. How much do I not see? I want to move it up a bit. And then I'm going to put that on there like that. And then I'm going to put that there. I'm kind of stair-stepping everything. Okay, wait. Where'd that little itty-bitty go? Not again. Got to be right here where I could see it. Hey, you guys. Where'd it go? Do I see it? I inked it. Oh, come on. Really? There it is. Turn thing turned over. Where am I going to put that so I don't lose it? Oh, I know. In my cleaning, I found one of my beautiful, um, I can't think of what this is called. Beautiful heart, gold heart. I had to give it a good cleaning though. It was black. Oh, we're sitting in a cupboard for years. It was gross. Pewter. I think it's, no. Is it pewter? No. It's not copper. It might be pewter. I don't know. Anyway, it was really pretty. One of my favorites. So I was happy to rescue it out of the, the cupboard that it had been sitting in for who knows how long. It's actually meant to put a candle on it. Um, but I thought, I'll bring that into my room, even though I shouldn't be bringing anything in here because, oh, guess what, you guys? I don't think I've told you guys. Oh, yes. I put it on Instagram and I put it on Facebook, I think. But I am super duper excited. Now, right now I work in about a 10 by 12 room, which is a nice size for the paper studio. It's in the front of the house. But as I always complain, it's hot in here. And the light is good, but it's not always fabulous. It is a beautiful view. I have lots of trees to look at and flowers and lawn but the lawn's not going to be green much longer we're, we had a we're all been ordered to turn off our water more and only water like two days a week which means everything's going to die and turn brown I'm bummed because I love my yard so much and it's so pretty but anyway <laughs> I digress so uh what's going to happen is I decided my husband and I were talking. I was looking around my room and I said, you know, I'm getting really claustrophobic in here. There's so much stuff, so much paper crafting stuff. I'm getting claustrophobic. And he said, well, I could imagine. He goes, honey, why don't you think about moving your studio? And I'm like, well, I don't know. So I went and I looked and we measured and it took us a whole morning of planning and measuring. But it looks like I'm going to move into the big sewing studio, move my paper crafting into my sewing studio. It's a big deal because first of all, it's a huge move. And I wasn't sure that all the fabric was gonna fit in here. And so um, we had to measure and measure that, you know, what shelves were gonna go where, what was I gonna bring in here, which ones was I gonna leave in there. And because I have, that room is 15 by 18. And that 18 foot wall has two giant windows and then one on the side and has a long counter from one end of the room to the other. Then it has all these shelves and then there's a big island in the middle of shelves on the other side and then a big long closet well i would keep the shelves i mean the long counter across the window but i would take this table and the shelves on top of it and put it on the sidewall 
And of course I would keep all of my paper crafting supplies on the other wall and I would keep the, the thing in the middle. So the room I'm in now would just be wall to wall fabric and whatever else fits in here, you know. So I'm super excited because I'm gonna be changing rooms, which allows me on that nice long 18 foot counter, I'm going to have my sewing machines and my cutting, my die cut machine and you know, my, um, and, and my um, what do you call it? Um, what a couple of my other machines are on one side of the counter. On the other will be my filming desk. And then the desk that I'm on like this will be my crafting one. And then of course I'll have the big one in the middle. So I'm for big projects and laying things out and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I am super duper excited. Um, it's gonna give me a lot more space for all of my paper. This paper just takes up a huge amount of room. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I swear, it's like bunnies. It's multiplying and multiplying and multiplying every time I turn around. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally have no more room for anything else in this room. So not that I wanna add anything to that room, but I'm not sewing right now. And um, so I thought this room that I'm in would just be wall to wall fabric and whatever fits in the middle. I'll leave my desk in here that's in here. Not this desk, but I have a desk in front of the window. I'll leave that there for my shipping area uh, for the Etsy business. So I just think it's going to work so much better. That way I can leave my filming stuff set up all the time and it will be for other projects and filming. And then I can have my work desk like this, or I can move it over to this. I can put it on either. I can film in both places if I want or have two cameras. So I'm just super duper duper excited. I can't believe how excited I am. I want to do that when I first set this room up, but I couldn't figure out how to do it without dismantling my other one. And well, now I have to dismantle, I have to dismantle both these rooms completely. So the only thing is I have to think carefully about where everything's going to go. So I know how to box it up and how to label it. I got glue on here, guys. Ah! Oh no. So yes, I am mega, mega, mega excited because I'm gonna be in a much bigger room, lots of light, and um, I can plan my projects better, I hope. I don't know. I mean, you know, that's the that's the hope, but who knows, right? I did not mean to get that much ink on there. Oh, well, darn it. Might as well dirty it up a little bit now that I did that. Okay. How do I like that? That looks pretty cool. I feel like something needs to be back there. What do you guys think? Does it, should I put some lace? Oh, I know. How about some net back there? Just a little bit. Or some... Or, or, or... Let me see. I'm going to be dismantling my rooms pretty soon, guys. And then I won't be able to do any videos. Um, uh, because I just won't have anywhere to even set up a makeshift studio, I don't think. Unless I go out to my patio and film out there. I don't know. I have to figure out how I would film. So... We'll see. I don't know what's going to happen at this point, but pretty soon, if you don't see any videos from me, do not panic. I am just, um, just moving studios because I am um, the next room I have to pack is my library, which has tons and tons of books, tons. I have three giant bookcases full of books that are double, triple stacked front and back. So I got to get that. I'm a huge reader. reader. I love to read. Um, so I'm going to get that done. And then I have to start packing my fabric. I'm going to pack this paper one last if I can. So I can just keep making things. Because I really need this studio mentally. <laughs> I need this room. So what I may start doing is things I know I'm not using in here. I'll go ahead and pack up. You know, so I may, I may do it that way. Um, you know, like all the beautiful journals I bought from others. I mean, it's not like I'm not working with them or anything. So they could get packed for now. And then um, that'll work. And then, um, and like books and stuff I'm not using right now. And, you know, anything I'm not using, I think I'll go ahead and pack up. But I have to pack the fabric in there first. And I'm going to leave it packed um, for a long time because I'm in no rush to, to set this room up again as a sewing studio, if you know what I mean. So it's like, oh. You know, I may decide I don't need all of this. So let's see. Did I get it going? Which way do I want it to go? Did I cut it this way? Uh-oh, I'm confused. What did I do? This way, maybe? It's a little wide. 
I think what I'll try to do is get it um, glued on and then well, the guys are being nice and quiet. They do know I'm filming, so. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, let's see. Oopsie. Uh, so, yeah, I'm so excited about getting the bigger studio. I love the view in here, though. That It's really hard. I mean, the, the other view is lovely, too. It's the it's our hill. And right now, it's still green. But like I said, for long, pretty soon, all my rose bushes are going to be dead. Everything's going to be dead because we're in a huge drought. And we're not really allowed to water. So, all my plants are starting to suffer. The lawn's starting to die. Two days a week is not enough water. And we've had a lot of hot days. So... I don't know, guys. <sighs> My husband and I have been talking about leaving California. There's been so many, there's so many issues here for living here. It's super expensive. We have the highest prices for gas, food, rents. Well, we don't pay rent, but I mean, others do. I mean, it's just crazy high, so I don't know. We'll have to see what happens with my son-in-law. That's going to be the deciding factor here. Okay, let me put that in the garbage. This little piece I'll keep, but the other I don't need. Okay. Yeah, that gives it a little more texture, don't you think? A little more texture. So, where is... Oh, there it is. Where is my lace? Guys, am I, is my head getting in this picture? Probably. The only thing I don't like about this mat is it moves around. I've really liked working on something other than a dark mat, but I, I th I'm thinking... I'm going to have to go back to my dark mat. Um, because it's hard for me to see sometimes with this light, lighter mat. Okay, I'm going to glue. Oopsie. Got a little bit uh, aggressive there with my glue. The guys are downstairs measuring the floor, trying to figure out where to start the planking and where to end it because we have stairs that it's going to bump up into, the stairs that go upstairs. So we have to figure out where everything's going to begin and end and measure to make sure we don't, you know, end up with tiny little pieces right in front of the stairs. That would be bad. So it's a lighter floor, kind of a sandy color. We're, our home is very coastal inspired. The walls are pale. Ice, a pale, um, kind of a blue. It's not baby blue, and it's sort of an icy color, kind of a silvery blue. It's really pretty. Um, and with the lighter floor, it's going to be gorgeous. So we have navy blue, turquoise, all the different colors of blue. I love blue. It's my favorite color, believe it or not, yet I always work in pink. Isn't that strange? But I think had I been allowed to pick my favorite color when I was a little girl... My mom gave me a blue room and my sister a pink room. I have a feeling I would have been the pink girl had I had a say in it. <laughs> so I got to figure out, okay, so right about here is where the pocket's going to go. I would, if this wasn't so thick, I think I would sew through it, but it is very, very thick. And I'm sure my machine could handle it, but I don't really want to break it. It's my old machine, but still. I still really love it. It's been good to me. It's got thousands and thousands and thousands of sewing hours on it. I've made so many dolls on that thing. It's not even funny. Oh, that came up. See, it's just playing brown cardboard under here. So we just need to go. How high do I go? Right to there. Then I'll trim the lace after. I want it to be tight. Excuse me, I'm gonna get some water, guys. Talking is making my mouth really dry. So, 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 I can't tell you how excited I am about my new room. I can't say it enough. Yay, I'm so blessed to have both rooms. But I've had my sewing studio for 11 years, and um, I am blessed to have had it. This was a guest room, the room I'm in right now. 
the other one, um, which is now our guest room, was the toy room for the kids to play in. It was also an office. It's been a number of things. It's now a guest room. And this is now my paper crafting room, which I adore. But I don't use my sewing studio like I was. I mean, I used to be in there all day, every day. I made dolls every single day of the week, fabric dolls. They are really, they were really fun and cute. Someday I'll show you one. I don't think, do I have one in here? I'm looking around. No, I don't have a doll in here. I'll have to show you guys one of these days, one of my dolls. But anyway, I did that every day for five years. And all of a sudden my legs got really bad. It was getting harder and harder for me to stand at my sewing counter and iron. My knees were getting really horrible. So I needed to find something to do uh, sitting down. So I found journal making. Yay! I've been a crafter and a seamstress my whole life. So of course I have everything in the world in there set up for that, but I'm not using the room and I think, and I always believe in using all of your rooms in your house. I don't think any room should be excluded from use. So I always believe in using my rooms. Um, I'm even thinking about taking over the guest room. Well, I have a wall of stuff. I have like three bookcases in there that are full of crafting things, but they're random things. I think all my coloring stuff is in there, my pencils and, all that because I used to be a colorist. I used to do a lot of the coloring book thing, but artsier and more of art style, not crayon or anything. Um, so I kind of have all that stuff in there. My, my more fine art stuff is in there, but I, I'm thinking about getting a better system, you know, for that. And there are different cupboards or something that can be well hidden away. But for right now, we need guest beds for our granddaughters. So, because they're here periodically when their mom and dad are taking care of their dad. So, um, I'm going to... I want a card to play with here. So, let me get this one out. I'm going to put these away because these are my fabric ones. I don't want to ruin those. Let me get this. What I want to see is how this is going to work. Oh yeah, yeah, that works fine. I mean, I think I think that works as a pocket. It's nice and tight. So yeah, that will work very very well if you want to put a note or a card or something in there. So, um, I'm trying to decide what else I want to put on this. I feel like I want a little, I'm not sure what I want. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little flower or something in that corner. Let me grab some things off my shelf. Let's see, what do we have? I mean, we have this one. No, nope, that's the wrong pink for sure. I wondered if I have any of these cut. I know I do. I always have. Um, nope, that's too. Let me see. That's peach. <laughs> I thought I had a bunch of these cut, but maybe not. I'm thinking about putting something on the corner here. Mm -mm. Okay, so that isn't it. Oh no. All right, now what else can we use? Um, let me see. I have a bunch of these, but ooh, I see something. Let me see. What do I see? What do my little eyes spy? I spy. No, don't like that either. Well, that isn't it. Oh, I'm running out of little goodies. I have always had a lot of fun little goodies in here, but I think I'm about using them all up. I'm probably going to have to see if I can order some more fun goodies from Journey of Crafting here. I was hoping I still had some of the little mini pearl white ones, but I think I've used them all up. I don't see any... 
Oh, that's too peachy. Boy, when I go do a peachy pink, I'm going to have all the perfect things for it, aren't I? Da, 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 da. There we go. Got a lot of flat things and a lot of jewels and a lot of fun stuff to play with, that's for sure. Hmm. I don't think I have any more of the pearls that I want to put there. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This is kind of where I put all my little bits and sparkly pieces. Sparkly bits and pieces. I don't want to put anything too bulky. That's the only thing because I, it, you know, you, I, I want it to be kind of flat but decorated. So let me see. What else do I have? I'm looking at my desk here while I'm standing up for a minute. Um, 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 um. Let me see if my snippet boxes have anything exciting. Oh, I found some new boxes, you guys. Are these cool? These I got at the Dollar Tree. And they're just little boys uh, toy boxes for their cars. And, um... Of course, Dollar Tree is now Dollar Twenty Five Tree, but I got them. They're these, and um, this is great storage, by the way, for Dollar Twenty Five. That is wonderful. I just saw my husband picking up a bunch for my lace, for certain laces. But doesn't isn't this fabulous? I mean, it's perfect to put my laces in. And these are just my bits and pieces off of bigger rolls. Um, I cut them down so I could just have things to play with. So that's what that's about. Um, let's see what I have in here. Like I have a little bitty piece that I was thinking maybe right there. That'd be pretty. Or, 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 oh, here comes, a, here's a white one. Why are these so big? Goodness gracious, they're big. Yeah, they're big. That one's weird looking. I don't know what's wrong with that one. Looks strange. Here's another one. Too big. I like these little ones, though. You know I'm hooked on those. Oh, I could put something like that there. Uh, no. I'm not finding what I want. I know I want something. <laughs> I could add that. <laughs> That'd be way too bulky, you guys. Way, way, way too bulky. I think that just blends in. I don't think that does anything for it. No. Okay. So, and I don't think the white ones are good. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Let me see what else I have. I was thinking if I cut the flower out of that, that might not be bad, actually. Here's a tiny little white one. I don't, I think the white's too bright, even though I have white here. Isn't that funny? I just feel like that's too bright. I'm looking to see what else I had in here. One of these. Um, I actually don't mind that if I trim the edges out and put like a little pearl in the middle. A flat pearl, really flat one. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm going to spend all my time on this. Oh, well, I'll do another video of the wallpaper, the antique book and wallpaper, antique French book wallpaper and Lacy Ladies. I'll do one of those videos next. Maybe put it like right there. Or out there up there. Hmm. Kind of like that up there. But it's going to have to be something very flat there. I have a feeling. I cannot tell the top from the bottom on this, you guys. Crazy, right? I do that. Oh, 
Okay, so what else could I put in the middle of that? Maybe a sequin or something because sequins don't are flat. They that might work because then I wouldn't be. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on a minute. Let me grab a bunch of sequins. There we go. I have all kinds of sequins here. I'll just see if I have a like a. After one in particular, not crazy. I just want one in particular. Mm, not dark enough. I'm looking for something a little more like this color. I, I know I have some, but that means I've got to dig them out. <laughs> I don't think I want to. I don't have anything easy to grab. I was looking at my... Oh. These are a different color. These are by Carolina's Crafts. Um... This is Lilac Lane, but I was looking to see if there was something that could go in the middle of that. I see some. This is an old spice bottle. I thought it would work great. I just flipped a bunch onto my foot. Right. <laughs> oh, this is time consuming. Okay. Yeah, don't pull out the sequins unless you want to be picking them up for a while. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, that isn't what I wanted. Okay, I'm not finding what I want. I want to like a little, another little flat flower to go there. And I know I have something in my millions of things. I felt the sequin hit my foot, but... Can I find them on the carpet? No. Yeah, I did. I found a couple. All right. Well, I will find something to go there. I know I have something. I'm positive I do. I have all kinds of things but I'm trying to find something flat is my big difficulty because you know if you put something really bulky there I think the majority well I have pearls you know I normally just put a pearl there I'm just going to give up and do what I always do I was trying to do something different it's trying to be unique and different haha -ha. So, let's see, I've given you the news on Stephen. He's not doing well. Please pray for him. Send out happy healing thoughts into the universe. Um, and for Jolene as well. She's really going through it right now. And we're not able to go be with her because we're in the middle of the floors. So she's on her own. Um, unless, of course, things get hairy, then we will drop everything we're doing and go up there to San Francisco, which is where she's at right now with her husband. And be with them um so we're taking it a day at a time around here we're just going to work on the project as long as we can and get as much of the floors done as we can and pray that he survives all of his surgery and it has a good outcome and not a negative one because one of the <sighs> negatives for the surgery is that he could come out of the surgery completely paralyzed and or not come out of the surgery at all there's a good possibility of that as well so Oh, you guys. Then you probably wouldn't see me for a really long time. So we'll pray that doesn't happen. Um, I do want to put these on here. I can get a couple of pearls on here and just do my thing. Super duper sticky. I need some more water, excuse me. It's so dry here. I've been pretty lucky. The fog's been coming in at night and cooling it down a bit, but last night it didn't really come in very far, so it started our day a bit warmer today. We've been in the high 70s all the way up to the mid 90s. 
Fourth of July night was warm and beautiful. We were able to go outside and do fireworks till late at night and didn't need a sweater till about 10. So that was really fun. That was a nice, nice evening. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm trying to decide where I want. Oh, that's right where the pocket is. <laughs> well, let's go up the side. I rarely do that. There we go. Okay. Let me see. Well, isn't that pretty? That came out really pretty, even though I kind of struggled with it. I think it came out lovely. So that's my writing board. Um, I think that'll do. I don't really want to put anything on this side. I mean, yes, I could put a word or something and it wouldn't affect it, but I really think I don't want to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it. Actually, I should not put anything on that side. Oh, but see, there's the temptation. That's what I was telling Heather. I'm always so tempted to over decorate, so I never decorate my writing boards. I used to. I used to do it, um, and what I would do is I would, um, you know, seal them in, um, it's not embossing, what the heck is that called, you guys? Ugh. Anyway, you seal them in plastic, what's that called? Thermal, it'll come to me. Anyway, I used to make my boards that way, and um, so that everything was nice and smooth and it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but then, and then I have the ones that were just like, these were for my happy planners. I had big ones like this for my happy planners and they're just plain boards that I decorated, but I didn't decorate them, you know, they're just plain. So they really weren't anything lovely. I've always just made them like that. And, um, okay, well, there's that first one. So that was today's project. And if I were going to make a second one, which I think I am, I'll just show you how we made them. Now, this one was, oh, by the way, someone's going to ask, I'm sure, what is the size of this? Now, I would go, it depends on your journal. So this particular one is um, eight, yeah, five and a quarter by eight, which is about right. Most journals are five and a half to six wide by eight or nine tall. So you figure eight's a good size. And five is a good width. So five by eight is a nice width for your, your journals um, to put one in. So this one I'm going to make out of just some lightweight cardstock that I have and maybe a piece of file folder, I think would make it really well. So what I will need to do that is, um, we're, gonna, we're just about to run out of time, but I thought, well, let's, Let's cut something while we can. Let me do, gosh, I got my chair too far away. I'm in the next universe. Okay. Five, um, I'll go a little over five. And I'm gonna make it eight. Well, this is like eight and a, eight and a half which most of my journals are nine. So I think I'll leave it, I think I'll leave it like that. That'll work. So now comes the big one. So we'll just cut this one. I think the first thing I do, I'm gonna do though, is to get a nice, take that off. And then I'll make it the five and a quarter, cause I like that with pretty well. And I've got that for another project. So that'll be great put both of these together so if I want to make some more boards and I will make oh, hopefully I cut that right yep how that end up being wider huh well And I cut it crooked on top of that. Jeez, what in the world is wrong with me? I don't know which one I cut wrong. Well, I'm gonna make it an even five, I think. And then I'll, I'll do the other one this way. Make sure this is five. Now, does that make that taller? Yeah, it does. I'm going to keep it five by eight. Did I just cut that wrong, you guys? I did. Ah, that's what happens when you're trying to rush. Okay, well, 
I think I am not going to try to do that one on camera. Can you believe I just did that? Oh, I can. I am so distracted because I know I'm worried about my son-in-law. I'm All I can think about is him having surgery and my daughter being up there alone. And, um, you know, I don't know. Okay, five by eight, good enough. Now I have all kinds of fun cardboard to play with. <laughs> Lots of tags, right? We have plenty of tags to play with. What did I do? There we go. I think what it is, is I'm too far away from my cutting. Um, my glasses, I cannot see, I'm too far away. I have to get too close up. So what you do is you glue those two together. Now, one thing Heather did that I didn't do, she created a secret pocket. She created a secret pocket by decorating this one and this one, plain on one side, decorated on the other, and then gluing them together and leaving the top open or the side open to have a secret pocket on her board. So I think I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you what I did in my next video um, because we're going to run out of time here and I and I can't have this too long because my husband doesn't have a lot of time to download for me right now. If I get him to download it late tonight before he falls asleep, I'll be very, very lucky. So, you know, what are you going to do? Alrighty, you guys. Well, it has been fun, and um, I will show you the secret pocket in my next video, and I'm going to use these beautiful papers that, um, I don't know how to say the name of this kit. It's L-E-S, and then a capital P-E-C-H-E, -E, collage kit. Le Peche? Le Peche? Collage kit? Le Peche? Something like that. Anyway, that is the name of this kit, and it is a stunner. I haven't had a chance to look at it too much. I saw it online, fell in love with it, thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be pretty for a future kit, uh, future digitals, and it is stunning. And so I'm gonna think I'm gonna use this for my board, and then, oh wow, look at all the beautiful images we have to choose from, you guys. It's gonna be tough for me to pick what I'm gonna use on the board. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Oh, beautiful, look at this. I don't remember how I found her. I think I found her on Instagram. And, oh my gosh, so I printed it in white and then I also printed it in, you know, my usual. Oh, look at that, that's pretty too. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to do some thinking anyway because I do not know. Ooh. I'm wondering, mm, I might use that for my board and then maybe decorate it one side with some of these lovely digitals. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is my next writing board. So I recommend that you have some fun and create some writing boards. Maybe you can make a secret one by just, you know, gluing it together on three sides and leaving the top open and, and making sure it all matches so no one can tell it's there and you have a private little board. Um, I have to tell you though, I'm feeling this cardboard and I am thinking it's not going to be heavy enough for a writing board. So I may have to add another board to that. So something to think about. I'm used to these heavier boards, you know, when I do a writing board. So, well, thank you for coming along and having a play with me today. It was a lot of fun. I'm so happy to see all of you guys. I hope to see you again very soon. If you don't see me, don't worry. I'll be back. So I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.